Hello and welcome. This is Tim Medine. I'm going to be taking you through a quick introductory scenario in Cyber City. So without further ado, let's begin. First, we're going to get access to our scoring server where we're going to see all the questions. It's going to walk us through each one of our missions. Now, our missions are divided up into five different levels. Of course, level five is going to be significantly more difficult than level one. Also, the questions for each challenge are going to be rated on a 1 to 15 point difficulty. Of course, 1 is going to be quite simple, whereas 15 is going to be significantly more difficult. So with this mission, what we're trying to do is get access to the cameras throughout Cyber City. Now, Cyber City has cameras much like maybe even your city, but many cities have cameras throughout the city so that visitors or local people can take a peek and keep an eye on the city. So first up, we're going to get access to a camera in the residential quadrant. Cyber City is broken up into four different quadrants, and we're going to actually walk through each of them. First up, residential. So here's the residential camera. As we can see, we've got houses on the bottom right. We've got a city hall. We've got a train that moves throughout the city. We've got working lights. We've got the school. A funny little story about the school. Uh, when we were first putting this together, now... Me, I'm a very technical person and I'm good at it, or at least I like to think I am at least. <laughs> but the, the artistic side is definitely not my strong suit. So we hired somebody else to, to put together the pieces on top of the table. And right before our very first live demo for a, a, a big client, the guys came running from, uh, from the city, ran up to Ed, Ed Scotus, my boss, and said, Ed, we've got this huge problem. Ed's kind of freaking out. He's like, we need to have this ready for next week what's, what's 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 the problem like quick come with us so they come running downstairs and they say ed look right by the school and ed looks at the school and the school looks fine the lights are fine the street lights are fine the train's moving around the school and he, he doesn't see what's wrong the guy goes well there's a train track right by the school and they would never do that and ed kind of pauses and looks at them and say well can we can we add a fence and they're like oh yeah that's a good idea. So a little interesting backstory. Now we have our own zoning commissioner within Cyber City as well. So what we're trying to find here is this little chunk of information in the corner. Also in this city, we have 12,822 people that live in the city. They all have first names, last names, social security numbers. Uh, a portion of them have email addresses and social media accounts and bank accounts. Uh, they all have medical records, so it's recreated very much like a real city. This isn't one of the uh, the CTFs where there's you know four, five users and you have to get access to all of them. No, no, no. This is fleshed out much like a real big organization or a real city. So let's go back. Let's answer our question again. We're looking for ResCam01. We'll submit the answer. We see we have indeed got the points for it. Next up is the commercial sector. Now we don't have a link to this camera and they wanna make sure that the camera is not accessible to search engines and not indexed by the search engine. Well, if you know much about web, you know there is a special file you put on the root of the web server called robots.txt. In this file is a list of locations where the bots, the Bing bot, the Google bot, are not supposed to look. Of course, a bad guy or a pen tester is definitely going to look here first. A couple other interesting and notable robots.txt is the whitehouse.gov robots.txt. It's got a nice list of what looks like administrative interfaces. Probably not a great idea to click on that, but interesting nonetheless. And then, of course, you know, we've got these big companies who've got advertising on absolutely everything. Now, I thought that some things were sacred, but apparently robots.t is, is not one of them. So if we go to the Nike store robots.txt, just crawl it. It says get up, get out, get going, no excuses, nikestore.com. So, uh, you know, kind of funny that they would put advertising on that, but I guess, I guess maybe I just shouldn't be surprised by that. So we found our URL. Let's grab the URL. We'll paste it here and we'll take a peek at the commercial quadrant of CyberCity. We can see 
Uh, we've got a coffee shop, great free unencrypted Wi-Fi. We've got social media, we've got an ISP, a hospital, a bank. We're using real software for that type of institution. So the bank has real banking software. The hospital uses a real electronic medical record software. We also on the commercial quadrant have one of our lovely billboards. Now, of course, this billboard, much like the real billboards we see around the world, is hackable. One of our first missions, actually, we're going to get access to that and change the text on the, uh, the billboard. So now we're looking for this chunk here again in the corner, commercial zero two, and we get three points. Now we see there were hints for the previous questions. We can take hints for free. Also, once you completed a question, you can see all the hints for that particular question. All right, next up we have our industrial quadrant. So we've got a camera here. We want to get access to it is password protected and we have been given a user account. So we try to access this. We'll paste in the username and we'll try some passwords like maybe password. Hmm, that didn't work. What about no password? And we can try this over and over again. Maybe we don't ultimately end up getting access. But this login page leaks a little bit of information. We see here it says access underscore and then some hex numbers. Maybe this is like a MAC address. It's a camera. So it's a, maybe that's the brand. Access camera default password. We see here very quickly that the password is traditionally root slash pass. So let's try that password of pass. And boom, we've gotten into the industrial quadrant. We can see here we've got a chemical factory on the left. We've got a pipelines that we can take control of, a power generation, water reservoir in the middle. The water reservoir is actually probably my favorite mission. In that mission, the bad guys are going to make the water bad. Well, actually, they're going to make the water look bad. The meters report that the chemicals are out of balance when they actually aren't. Now, in the real world, ideally, someone comes over, tests the water, and they say, okay, the water is actually good. It's the meter that's bad. But what could happen, ideally it doesn't, is the guys just look at the meter. The meter says the water is bad, and then they try to fix it by adding additional chemicals to the water thereby maybe even creating a problem where the water is now bad. They've tried to fix a non-existent problem and have therefore created the problem. Really interesting scenario. On the left, we got our chemical factory. Uh, we've had some odd requests. I, I don't quite understand why, but a lot of people want uh, centrifuges for some, some random reason. And of course, they want fire with it as well. Now, of course, we could have a fire in Cyber City once, right? Um, but instead, we're probably going to get some Kindle fires and put it inside and show fire on it. You know, see, see what we did there? Great joke, huh? Cam 03 Industrial. And we've gotten additional points. Next up, the military quadrant. The piece of information we're looking for is hidden behind this little uh, blacked out redacted piece. We see military ba barracks. There's a radar tower. Uh, we can see a little motion blur on the train. We've got a landing strip. We've got rocket launcher here. Now, the first thing I would do is look at the source of the image, and we see a couple of parameters. Now, we can change the resolution. So we can change this to 1024x768, and we'll see that it moves. Cool. The one I sort of jumped to right away says overlay image 1, and let's change that to a 0. And of course, that disappears. We could also change the overlay position if we wanted to, to something like zero comma zero. So what I can do then is I can zoom in a little bit, grab my camera, use my QR reader, and we'll get 04 mil cam. Finally, we have access to our video feed. It's our uh, Google satellite, if you will. So we can get access to our satellite. As with the satellite, we get full video. So we're gonna get video in the residential quadrant. We see the train cruising by in the corner. We'll see the traffic lights change. We've got the radar tower. But specifically in this question, we're looking for a QR code from the top. There goes the train again. And we can zoom in on the top of our ISP. Grab my phone again, sat underscore nav underscore PTZ. And then we can answer the final question. So we gave a quick view throughout the city, all the different quadrants in Cyber City. 
Um, and what you're going to be doing in Cyber City is we're going to be uh, hacking and defending all these various entities. You're going to send the train off the cliff. You'll get access to the rocket launcher. We're going to defend the landing strip from attack. It is a lot of fun. Um, if you have any questions, again, my contact information is here. Please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. But thank you for, for sitting through this. And hopefully we'll see you in a Cyber City class at some time in the future. Thank you and goodbye.